Are you sick about the Sydney headlines keep popping up with positive news and negative news and not really know what's going on in the market currently with Sydney? Hi, my name is Daniel Walsh and I'm the founder of Your Property of Wealth and today's topic is all about Sydney market and what's happening within the Sydney market. I've been analyzing Sydney market since 2011 and really trying to predict on where it's going and what was happening with the market. Sydney is one of the strongest, if not the strongest market in Australia long term as we can see with historic growth rates. Now, what do I think is going on with Sydney market at the moment? I have been telling people since 2016 that Sydney market was a very strong performer since 2011 to 2016 and that that was the best time to get into Sydney market. But what happened from 2016 to now is we've had a credit crunch and being that Sydney market is one of the highest priced markets in Australia, it's becoming very hard to get a loan for it. So if you wanted to buy even at the median price of 900 to say 1.1 million in Sydney, it's getting hard to be able to get a loan on that because the credit crunch and the lending criteria are becoming very strict in lending money. So it's not that people don't want to buy in Sydney because believe me, people do want to buy in Sydney. It's the fact that they can't buy in Sydney right now. And I've been telling people that eventually the affordability of Sydney will catch up on it and it will become harder and harder to get a loan for a, a property worth a million dollars or more, which is why I was telling people to make sure you focus on affordable properties. If you focus on affordable properties, then that is where you're going to see the growth because the maximum amount of people of investors, first home buyers, downsizers, they can all access these markets and the borrowing or the capacity for uh, buying these properties are a lot larger. So there's a lot more pool of people focusing on the affordable properties at the moment. So where do I think Sydney's heading? This is what I think with Sydney market is we're still in a market that's extremely strong. We've got extremely uh, high infrastructure spend. We've got really good infrastructure projects going on, which means jobs. So we're going to have huge amounts of jobs that are created and these jobs are high paying jobs. So that is always a good sign. Now we've got population growth. We've got a uh, scarcity of land. So Sydney at the moment is still a really good purchase long term. But am I buying in Sydney market now? No, I'm not. The reason being is, and I've already purchased in Sydney market, I've already doubled my money. My clients have doubled their money. But at the moment, we're sitting on the fence with Sydney market because the yields are too low. And what that means is you're going to wait an extended period of time for growth. And over that time, it's going to cost you a lot to hold. At least 5,000, 10,000, even more, depending on where you purchase. So could you imagine if you bought a property for uh, 500 to a million dollars in Sydney and you had a, a holding cost per year of 10 to 15,000. Now, if we don't see growth in Sydney, which I don't predict in the next two years, then what's going to happen? We're going to have around $30,000 worth of holding costs. And if we have $30,000 worth of holding costs, psychologically, the investor starts to say and starts to panic and starts to go, maybe I should sell this asset because it's not growing. But long term, I think Sydney is going to be a very good buy. If you were to buy it long term for, say, the next 10 to 15 years, you're going to do exceptionally well, but it's all about making sure you time the market. And at the moment, we're seeing a little bit of a, a drawback and decline in Sydney market. And once we see those yields start to rise as the prices come down, we're going to see a perfect market for Sydney to re-enter. And this is the market that I am looking for. It's the market that you should be looking for. So when it comes to buying in Sydney market for me and for YPYW, at the moment, it's a wait and see. We're waiting, we're seeing the data come through, we're looking at it, we're analyzing it, and then we're going to see where we head from here. So when is a buying opportunity is basically what we're waiting for. Currently, we see other markets with less holding costs, more affordability, and they are throughout Australia like Queensland and even to uh, a lesser degree, Melbourne, Victoria, where we see this affordability, we see holding costs at a minimum, and we're able to grow our portfolios a lot larger, a lot quicker. And then once we get the equity from that, we will re-enter into Sydney market. 
So this is just a update on what's happening in Sydney market, what YPYW are doing and what data and analysts we can see coming through and why we're just not purchasing just yet in Sydney market, but we will be in the future. Now, if you like my videos, as always, can you please subscribe? Can you please like, share and comment? I wanna get all this content out there to you guys to be able to inform you on what's going on in the market. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Thank you.